is Anna Tinbenzo. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to try power through and do one more solution because I'm going pretty quickly today. I'm just like using a lot of brain power. So without further ado, we are powering through these lead code problems as many as we can do in a year. And this is question number 79, word search. Now this kind of reminds me of the matrix ones we've done because um, I have, full disclosure, given myself about a two minute head start to read through this just so I can read through it one once or twice more with you all and have a good springboard to start out on. So I have not submitted anything for this yet and I'm hoping it's going to be all right. So let's jump into this question. So given an M by N grid of characters board and a string word return true if word exists in the grid. The word can be constructed from letters of sequentially adjacent cells where adjacent cells are horizontal or vertically neighboring. The same letter cell may not be used more than once. So we have this board and the board is defined here by first row, second row, third row, and here is the word A, B, C, C, E, D. So we have A, B, C, C, E, D. So we can go forward and backwards horizontally or vertically. So C, C, E, E. Um, and then here, A, B, A, A, B, C, B, we do, do not have anything that could work. Um, these are the constraints, but the follow-up is, could you use search pruning to make your solution faster with a larger board? So I'm hoping I can at least do this first part and if I can do some pruning later, I'll be able to make it faster. So the first thing I'm thinking of with this is doing a recursive helper function. I know I just did that for the last two videos, 78 and 77, but I'm thinking this might help with everything um, because for this I think what I should do hmm maybe not lowercase English letters only. What I really want to do, I think, and maybe maybe this recursive helper uh, backtrack that I use is going to be helpful, but I really want to explore the grid to even see if the word can be formed to start. I don't want to look for elements of the word, like here technically you could have A and A, I want to skim it first. So I think what I'm going to have to do is be able to mark a cell after an exploration as visited um, and be able to explore the cells in all directions. So I think I think that would be the best way to do it. Um, but I will have to set three parameters and those three are going to have to represent the current position in the grid. But one of them is going to have to represent the index of the characters in the word that is being matched. So let's say def backtrack i, j, and k. So from here, k will be that, uh, the one that represents the index of the characters. So I'm going to say if k is equal to the length of the word, then we can return 
true. That would be a really easy way to start. Um, for I and J, So if k is equal to the length of the word, it means all the characters in the words have been matched. If the current position of i and j is out of the bounds or character of the grid, then it doesn't match the character in the word at index k and should return false. So for this, I'm going to say if i... Oh, or i is greater than or equal to the length of the board or or j is greater than 0 or j i'm sorry if j is less than 0 or greater than or equal to the length of the board which zero um, or board I J word K return false So we need to mark, like I said before, those cells as explored. Um, so we'll put a hashtag on the ones that have been. Um, also, I want to say original characters equal board i j so those would be all the characters um and then board i j are then marked with this if they've been visited now we need to explore all four directions of the cell so if you're in one cell you need to be able to go up left right and down so let's say found equals back track um i plus one hold on i plus one j k plus one or backtrack this is going to get confusing i minus one j k plus one <laughs> or back backtrack i j plus one k plus one or backtrack I J minus one K plus one um <laughs> right because that would give us in all four directions but <laughs> I should have written that better. You know what? It's it's fine. It's it's really it's fine. It's fine. Let's restore all those characters then to the originals because once we visited it, we put that hashtag. So then we just restore them to the original characters um, and return <laughs> found. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Oh, this is... This feels like I'm becoming an afterthought. Okay. So... I needed to be able to return false. So any Okay. So we switch them over, we go up up down, right left. We then replace these original characters back. And say, oh, we found it. But we need to backtrack. We need to we need to do this one more time. So I'm gonna say for I in range of the length of the board. What are we gonna say? We're gonna say for J in range also of the length of the board of zero. If back track I J and zero, then we just return true. Otherwise, we can just return false. <laughs> it just feels. It doesn't look. It doesn't look great. She doesn't look great. She doesn't look. She's not great. But you know what? Let's run it and see because logically this should work. It should work. If we explore the board, we see our stuff, and then it doesn't work. Object error list not compatible. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? How is that not compatible? That's why. Give that one more try and tell me that's not compatible then. <laughs> okay, now we are compatible. What a great day. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not... This is fine. This is fine. I'm not going to stress about it. Let's go ahead and submit it. It's been a long day of me doing these problems, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we've given it a shot. But it's taking a long time to judge it. Mm, why? Oh. Oh. Mm, okay. Okay. We did really well on runtime. Not as great on memory. But that actually comes as zero surprise. Because we're just going everywhere exploring this stuff. So. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I actually didn't hate the solution and it took me about 15 minutes to do so not mad not mad about it um probably also could have found a better solution but i will save that for another video another day another story time so i will leave this code in my github repo which will be linked down in the video description down below you guys feel free to fork and clone make it better make it worse have some fun Learn something new, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.